Have you ever stopped to wonder why some people, with the same opportunities, thrive financially while others constantly struggle? What makes one person's financial journey full of achievements and another's a rocky road of debts and frustrations? Surprisingly, the answer may not lie in salary, skills, or even opportunities, but in the beliefs we hold about money. These beliefs, which we often don't even realize exist, have the power to shape our financial decisions in significant ways. Known as limiting beliefs about money, they silently sabotage our finances and keep us from reaching our true potential for abundance. In this guide, we'll explore how these limiting beliefs influence our financial lives and, more importantly, how we can overcome them to build a mindset of success and prosperity. The journey we begin today is one of self-discovery, growth, and financial transformation. What are limiting beliefs about money? Limiting beliefs about money are deeply ingrained ideas that we develop throughout life, preventing us from reaching our full financial potential. These beliefs may form in childhood, based on the attitudes of our parents, friends, or even the culture around us. They shape our view of money, often unconsciously, and make us believe that certain levels of success or prosperity are beyond our reach. Think of phrases like, money is hard to come by, or rich people are greedy. They may seem harmless, but can have a devastating impact on our financial decisions. Imagine someone who grew up hearing that money doesn't bring happiness. That person might, throughout their life, actively avoid pursuing better financial opportunities, believing that seeking money is morally wrong. Consider the story of Mark, who grew up in a family where money was always scarce. His parents always said that life is hard and that only through great sacrifice can you have something. He grew up believing that money was difficult to earn, and as a result, every financial decision he made came with a huge weight of uncertainty. He avoided any risks, even when they had the potential for a good return, and constantly worried about losing what little he had. These limiting beliefs, like Mark's, act as an invisible anchor that holds us back. They make us believe that financial success is reserved for a few, when in reality, they are what's limiting us. That's why understanding and questioning these beliefs is the first step toward financial freedom. How limiting beliefs affect your financial decisions. Limiting beliefs about money are like filters through which we see the financial world. They affect even the simplest decisions, like whether to buy an expensive coffee or invest in a new business opportunity. The problem is that when you believe you don't have or will never have enough money, your actions reflect that belief. Take, for example, Sarah, a young professional with a good salary and stable financial life. However, she was raised in an environment where money was synonymous with scarcity. Her mother always said, money doesn't grow on trees and you must save every penny. Today, even though she is financially comfortable, Sarah feels guilty whenever she spends on something she doesn't consider essential. She avoids investing and instead lets her money sit in a low interest savings account always afraid of losing everything. This self-sabotaging behavior is common among those who carry limiting beliefs about money. Impulsive spending, risk aversion, and the inability to plan for the future are direct results of these beliefs. Thus, a vicious cycle of poor financial decisions continues to perpetuate, blocking opportunities and creating a scenario where success always seems out of reach. The origin of limiting beliefs. But where do these beliefs come from? Most of us carry them from childhood, formed by observing our parents' behaviors and the environment we grew up in. If you grew up in a household where money was always a source of stress, you've likely internalized the idea that money is something to be feared or that causes problems. Imagine Luke, who grew up in a home where his parents frequently argued over financial issues. With each argument, he absorbed the idea that money was a source of pain and conflict. As an adult, Luke struggled to maintain a healthy relationship with money. He avoided talking about finances with his partner, fearing that the same pattern of conflict he witnessed at home would repeat itself. Additionally, culture plays an important role. In some communities, financial success is seen as either unattainable or even undesirable because being prosperous might mean betraying your roots. These cultural factors, as well as past financial traumas, can solidify a scarcity mindset, making it difficult for many to view money as something positive and accessible. How to identify your limiting beliefs about money. 
So, how can we identify these limiting beliefs that lie deep within our minds? The answer lies in self-reflection and honesty. For many, these limiting beliefs only reveal themselves when we begin to question our decisions and thoughts about money. Ask yourself questions like, what are my earliest memories about money? How did my family handle money? Or what do I truly believe about my ability to be financially successful? These questions may seem simple, but they bring to light the unconscious beliefs guiding our decisions. Consider the story of Emma, who, during this self-reflection, realized that she had always believed she was not good with money. This stemmed from a childhood experience when she was scolded for spending all her allowance on a toy that broke shortly after. She grew up afraid of repeating that mistake, and as a result, never allowed herself to invest or take risks. By recognizing this limiting belief, Emma took the first step in reprogramming her financial mindset. How to reprogram your financial beliefs for success. The good news is that just as limiting beliefs were programmed into our minds, they can be reprogrammed. This process requires time, practice, and, most importantly, the willingness to change. A clear example is John, who spent years believing that money was hard to earn. This belief led him to avoid professional growth opportunities, always afraid of failing. But after working on his mindset with the help of a financial coach, John began practicing daily affirmations and positive visualizations. He learned to see money as a tool for opportunity rather than a burden. Gradually, his financial life started to change. He accepted a promotion at work, began investing, and, most importantly, started to believe he deserved financial success. Practices like positive affirmations, visualizations, and financial education are key to reprogramming the mind. By replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones, such as I am capable of creating wealth or money is a tool for building a better life, you begin to change your relationship with money. Additionally, seeking support from professionals like financial coaches or therapists can be extremely helpful for those facing deeper challenges. Limiting beliefs about money may seem like insurmountable obstacles, but with awareness and mental reprogramming, they can be overcome. What you believe about money today does not have to define your financial future. It's time to reflect on the stories you've been telling yourself about money and start rewriting them. Make room for a new narrative, one where financial success is possible and attainable. As the saying goes, you are the author of your own story, and this includes your financial story. Starting today, you can begin to rewrite that story, paving the way for prosperity and abundance.